ramp generator. This is a circuit with a ramp generator. We've got a resistor on the input, we've got a capacitor on the feedback, and we've got a formula which is on the formula sheet, uh, the triangle denoting a change. So the change in V out is minus V in multiplied by the change in time divided by RC. I'm going to explain why this formula comes about. First of all, uh, negative feedback, which is provided through the capacitor, keeps the op-amp inputs the same, unless the output is going to be saturated. So we know that if this input's at 0 volts, the non-inverting input, then the inverting input is also going to be 0 volts. So let's have a look at the current through the resistor R. That's going to be uh, the difference in voltage across each side, which is V in on one side, naught on the other side, divided by the resistance. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to look at how much the voltage across the capacitor changes by uh, due to this current. So we've got a general formula, which is the change in voltage across capacitor is equal to the change in charge divided by the capacitance. And uh, by using the idea that, uh, that charge is current times time, we can substitute that in and we end up with current times the change in time divided by capacitance. And what we can do if we substitute in this um, this form for I, we get the change in voltage across the capacitor is V in times the change in time divided by RC. So that's where the RC comes from. So how, how much does the output voltage change by? Well, uh, the output voltage, the left-hand side of the capacitor is held at 0 volts, and we're going to lose delta V across it. So this comes out to being, as the formula at the top shows, uh, minus V in times delta T over RC. You won't need this uh, for the exam, uh, this derivation, but this is the formula and this is where it comes from. So in summary, uh, summary for this, if V in is positive, then V out is going to be uh, ramping downwards. So if V in is positive, then V out is going to ramp downwards. Okay, I'm going to put some numbers in here, and we're going to look at this in two ways. So first of all, we're going to look at how much uh, uh, we're going to look at uh, how much V out changes in in a given amount of time. So if we just divide both sides by delta T, we get change in V out divided by T. So this tells us how many volts per second the output's going to change by. So if we plug the numbers in, we end up with coming up with minus 20 volts per second, which means in one second the output will change by 20 volts downwards. Or another way to look at it, in 0.1 seconds it will drop by 2 volts. So it drops by 2 volts every 0.1 seconds. Another way we could look about look at this, we could rearrange uh, we could uh, rearrange this to work out how much time it will take to change by a given output voltage. So let's say we're going from 0 down to minus 13. So we've got a change of 13 volts. So we plug in the values for R and C, and we've got two volts going in in this particular circuit. And this comes out as 0 0.65 seconds. So if we plot this on the graph, it shows that in 0 0.65 seconds, the output will drop by 13 volts.